Hi, welcome to Artie Crafty Alchemy. Today I am sharing with you the Flying Tiger Copenhagen brush tipped twin markers. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist. Let's get started. I got these when I was in England. They were three markers for three pounds, which is about $5.50, $6 here. So $2 a brush marker, which is not super cheap, not super expensive. They come in packs of three and these are the first cheapish alcohol markers that I have, I think, that have the brush tip. So I thought we'd swatch them out and see what they look like. Now, I had other sets and I didn't buy all the sets. I am wishing I had got a couple of other ones, but I picked colours that I thought I could do. Things I mostly colour, which is a lot of florals. So I thought I would see how they went for that. If I go back to England again, depending on how they look, I may buy some more. So we have a big chisel tip and it's not a brush tip. Well, there you go. It quite clearly looks like a brush tip on the barrel, but they are not. I feel jit. They are not very cheap alcohol markers. You can tell I haven't watched many videos on the Flying Tiger Copenhagen markers. So let's lay down a big lot of color. That is 47. There are no color names. There's no number on the barrel. The only thing on the barrel is which tip is which. There is no marking on the barrel to indicate and the ends have a grip so you can pull the markers lids off. My bullet tip is easier to pull off on this one than the chisel end. So these look like they should be blending sets so it will be interesting to see how they blend together. I honestly thought they were brush markers. I was very excited when I found these. Wow that's some bright orange. Let's see if it dries back. It reminds me of the Branchville orange a bit. You get a nice fine point with that. The red tips behind it didn't seem, it was a weird mix of colours. Start with five, seven. Whoa, that one has a bit of a stink. The number five one was a bit wolfy. Oh, so is number seven. These are very strong alcohol markers. So if you're sen sensitive, I would give these a miss, I think. That's a very pretty colour. This set does not look like it will blend very well at all. The yellows have possibilities. And we have a pretty turquoise and two blues. Pretty sure this colour is darker than I, I have in any of my other bullet tip markers, cheap markers. So what I thought were blending sets, not really. May be able to get those two to blend together if I did tip to tip. Same with these two, not sure, have to try it. That kind of reminds me of some of the other cheap markers too, where, where you get two blue tones, but the lighter tone is just a completely different colour that has a more greenish hue to it as a, compared to that more bluish hue. Those two colours look like colours that would work better together if you tipped tipped. And then of course, because it's me, I had to get the purples. I don't know why I did these in this order, but we'll see. I think because that's more pink. But then that looks pink. <laughs> see if it dries back to a more purplish tone or stays on the pink side. The dark purple. How dark is this purple? Forgot to do that one. And then we have 51, which looks pink. Let's see if the pink is pink or pink is purple. Pink is pink. It does dry back to a more purplish hue, but it is very pale. So my takeaway straight up looking at these is they are not quite blending sets. You can layer them up nicely so you can get your own blend that way. But I am going to try some tip to tip. I am tip to tipping the two greens 07 and 01. And I have gone light to dark. Which I have to say gives a very nice transition. Making sure there's no colour left on there. And then I'm going to try in the opposite direction. So you can get them to do the tip to tip method for that green combo. And now I'll try the other green combo. Just wanted to see what it would be like to do a bigger space. They blend quite nicely as well if you do the tip to tip. 
happen to like that color combo better that one's just you get start there and get there it's a little more jarring what about the two purples the lids come off quite easily for the most part when you're using such a big jump in colors you can see your nibs clean so i'm just scribbling it off to make 100 percent sure that color definitely has a huge color shift as it is drying now I'm curious about the pink to purple, so I'm just going to lay down some pink, lay down some purple, colour over the top a little and see how that dries out. Colours mixed to give a nice colour, so let's see how it dries if it blended out a little. I've got the two yellows, 44 and 47. I might just do the old dark colour first. Then I'm going to add the light colour and then I'm going to do a light, then the dark and oh, they kind of have a nail polish smell, oh, it's not good. <laughs> Don't think I'd recommend these. The colours are pretty if you need certain colours in a pinch maybe but that smell is so bad. Okay I'm going to try all three of these together. I don't know why I went that way, I don't know what I was thinking. They are very square and it makes them a little clunky. Oh, ho, ho. Some of them are very very super strong smelling. I'm going to try this super dark 17 with this 11 and see what we get. We'll let that dry and see what happens. I'm not getting as smooth a transition as I do with some markers on this paper. It could be the paper, it might not like this brand of paper. It's not an alcohol ink paper by any means, it's just a cheap one I get from my local office supply store. But I'm gonna say I don't recommend these. They are very strong smelling. You definitely have to use them in a well ventilated place. I feel like if you are scent sensitive, they're already starting to give me a headache. I am mildly scent sensitive, so if you are super scent sensitive, no, stay away. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just cannot get behind these with the smell. I have this little swatch of the Audi, Kmart and Daiso markers. There are some colours here that do look like they will fit in very nicely. This is the Franchville ones from Spotlight. I need to write up the top what they are. Again, would fit in nicely with some of these colours. Fill some gaps, but they are really giving me a headache. It could be because I'm more sensitive today because I haven't had enough sleep, but they are very scent heavy and I just can't recommend something that is that stinky. <laughs> they do sort of go down nicely. I don't know if they would work better on another paper. Some of the colours do blend very well. I'm just going to try, let's get a dark colour so we can really see. I'm just going to try laying down a dark colour and seeing if we get streaky lines or if it's just the tip to tip blending. I'll take one of these greens as well because I seem to have streaky lines with the greens. Let that dry. I don't think I'll buy any more of these next time I'm in England and maybe something else if I see it but not these. I was excited to try these. I was hoping we'd find a flying tiger so I could buy some so I could see what they were like. In a pinch if there's nothing else about or Audi in the UK does bring out the alcohol markers over there so I don't know if they bring them out yearly like we do. Audi markers came out twice last year for us but they were the same colours both times. There was about a six to eight month gap in between. I'm not sure how long it'll be until they bring out the next round. It is anyone's guess so I don't know how often they bring them out in the UK but I know my fiance has a set for me somewhere. Next time I'm over there hopefully we can find it. Yellow's blended nicely. Yeah. Looks like a bit more work is needed for this blend here, but it does look quite possible. They look a little less streaky just laying down the colours, so it's just the tip to tip has made them streaky on this paper it seems. They are very clunky to hold. They're only a little bit bigger than the Frenchville markers, but they feel that slight 
millimeter or two difference make these easier to hold and the bodies are more curved audi ones have a triangular shape which is very easy to hold these have this big clunky square shape and i find them difficult to hold they hurt a bit if you were doing a lot of coloring with these i think you would be very uncomfortable i was so excited i so wanted to love these i find that the sets for blending aren't great not really blending sets i don't know if they have other colors I've taken some photos of the other sets while I was there because I don't know if they have other colours that would blend in with these. No, there's one red in the red pack and I think the other two were pink. It wasn't even an orange-ish red colour or anything like that. I think they were just pinks. I don't know. I'm very disappointed. What do you think of these markers? I'm not sure what other cheap brands are available in the UK. So that's something for me to look at maybe next time I'm over there. Just got really excited because I thought they were brush tips, but that's a big lie. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe to see more content like this, and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. My website and social media will be linked below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.